So, first is the simple part. Just ask user how many guesses he wants. That's what this line does. And using this line, I convert the input into integer variable. Then there is this while loop. So, while remaining guesses is greater than zero, we ask user to guess some number. We store whatever he wrote, and once again we convert it into integer variable. Because the generated number is integer, and we want to compare the generated number with guessed number. So, if guessed number is smaller, we give user a hint, saying generated number is bigger. And if guess number is bigger, we give user another hint saying generated number is smaller. And here is the else statement. So if we get to this statement, it means that user guessed the generated number. Because in order to get here, the conditions above cannot be met. So they have to be false. So guess number is not smaller than generated number and guessed number is not bigger than generated number and if it is not bigger nor smaller it must be equal right so we print u1 and we break out of this cycle using this break statement if we didn't get to this else condition we stay inside this cycle and decrement remaining guesses. And then we go straight up to this ending condition. And if it is false, that means remaining guesses is equal to zero. We break out of this cycle. Otherwise, we let the user guess again. So eventually, we get out of this while loop and we get to this if condition. And if remaining guesses is equal to zero, user lost. You might think, why is there this condition? Since if we get out of this cycle, user had to lose because this condition is false when remaining guesses is equal to zero. Well, you are right, but we also get here if user wins, because here we have the break statement, so without this condition, we would print you lost even if the user won. I hope you understand it and I will see you next time.